Do you have fitness goals you're striving to achieve? Maybe you're a beginner looking to take the first step into fitness. Well, you're in the right. Having fitness goals is not just about looking good, it's also about feeling good, both physically and mentally. It's about setting a target and working towards it, one day at a time. It's about the journey as much as the destination. And that's where full exercises come in. They are the perfect way to kickstart fitness journey. They work multiple muscle groups the same time, making them highly effective. Additionally, when the body's inner temperature is normal, calorie burning becomes fast and effortless. This makes these exercises even more beneficial for those looking to achieve their fitness goals. The beauty of these exercises is that they can be done at home with no equipment, making them accessible to everyone. So, whether your goal is to lose weight, build muscle, or simply improve your overall health, these full body exercises got you covered. So without further ado, jump right into these full body exercises and start working towards your fitness goals. Before starting any exercise routine, remember to warm up your body. Warming up is like setting the stage for the main act. It's a process that stimulates your cardiovascular system by raising your body temperature and increasing blood flow to your muscles. Warming up may also help reduce muscle soreness and lessen your risk of injury. Think of it as a gentle wake-up call, letting your body know that it's time to move. Now, let's get started with a simple full-body warm-up routine. Begin with some neck rolls. Slowly roll your head in a circular motion, one direction and then the other. This helps to ease any tension in the neck and shoulders. Next, let's warm up the upper body with some arm circles. Extend your arms out to the sides and make small circles in the air, gradually making them bigger. Don't forget to reverse the direction. Now let's get those legs ready. Start with some high knees. Stand tall and march in place, bringing your knees up towards your chest. This will warm up your hip flexors and get your heart rate up a bit. Next, do some leg swings. Hold onto a wall or a chair for balance and swing one leg forward and backward, then switch to the other leg. This helps to warm up your hamstrings and hip joints. Finally, let's warm up the whole body with some jumping jacks. Stand with your feet together, then jump and spread your feet apart while swinging your arms overhead. Jump again to return to the starting position. Remember, the goal of a warm-up is not to exhaust you but to prepare your body for the workout ahead. So, take it at a comfortable pace, listen to your body, and stop if anything feels uncomfortable. Now that your body is warmed up, you're ready to dive into the exercises. The first exercise is jumping jacks, a classic full body move. Let's break it down. Start by standing tall with your feet together and hands at your sides. In a single fluid motion, jump your feet apart and swing your arms overhead. Then jump back to the starting position. That's one jumping jack. Jumping jacks are more than just a playground favorite. They're a fantastic way to activate multiple muscle groups, including your glutes, thighs, and deltoids. Plus, they'll get your heart pumping and your blood flowing, making them an excellent cardiovascular exercise. But the benefits don't stop there. Regularly incorporating jumping jacks into your fitness routine can help improve your agility and coordination, boost your metabolism, and even enhance your mood. They're a versatile and accessible exercise that can be performed almost anywhere, no special equipment needed. See, jumping jacks aren't just for kids, they're a great way to get your heart rate up. Next up, we have push-ups, a staple in any workout routine. Push-ups are a classic exercise and for good reason. They work out a multitude of muscles, from your chest and shoulders to your core and even your glutes. They're a full-body exercise that can be done anywhere, anytime, with no equipment needed. But let's break down the steps to ensure we're doing them correctly. Begin by placing your hands shoulder width apart on the ground, fingers spread wide for stability. Extend your legs behind you, resting on the balls of your feet. This is your starting position. Keep your body in a straight line from head to toe, engaging your core to maintain this alignment. Now, lower your body towards the ground, bending your elbows while keeping them close to your sides. Aim to get your chest as close to the ground as possible without touching. Then, push your body back up to the starting position, fully extending your arms. You've just completed a push-up. For those who are just starting out, don't worry if a full push-up feels too challenging. There are modifications you can make to build your strength over time. One option is to perform the push-up on your knees instead of on your toes. This reduces the amount of body weight you're lifting, making the exercise more manageable. You can also try doing push-ups against a wall or on an incline, such as using a bench or step. The beauty of push-ups lies not only in their versatility but also in their benefits. 
They strengthen your upper body and core, improve your posture, and even help to prevent shoulder and back injuries. And since they engage multiple muscle groups at once, they're a great way to burn calories and build overall body strength. So, whether you're a fitness newbie or a seasoned pro, adding push-ups to your workout routine can be a game-changer. Remember, it's not about how many you can do, but about doing them correctly and consistently, even if you start with modifications. Push-ups can be challenging, but they're worth it for the strength you'll gain. Moving on to squats, a powerful lower body exercise. Squats are a fantastic way to build strength in your legs and core. They're also super versatile, meaning you can modify them to your fitness level and even add some extra challenges as you progress. Let's break down the steps to perform a squat correctly. Start by standing tall with your feet hip width apart. Your toes should be facing forward or slightly outwards. Now push your hips back and bend your knees as if you're about to sit in a chair. Lower yourself until your thighs are as parallel to the floor as you can manage. Remember to keep your chest up and your back straight. Then push through your heels to stand back up to the starting position. That's one squat done. If you're a beginner, you might find it difficult to squat low. That's perfectly okay. You can do a half squat instead, just lower yourself halfway down, maintaining good form. As you get stronger, you can go deeper each time. Squats are a compound exercise, meaning they work multiple muscle groups at once. They primarily target your quadriceps, or the muscles in the front of your thighs, but they also engage your hamstrings, glutes, and core. This makes them a fantastic exercise for overall lower body strength. But the benefits of squats don't stop at muscle building. They also improve your balance and coordination, promote better bone health, and even aid in burning calories. Plus, the movement of a squat is a functional one, meaning it mimics movements you do in everyday life, like sitting in a chair or picking up a heavy object from the floor. So, by strengthening your squat, you're also making your day-to-day -day activities easier and safer. So don't shy away from incorporating squats into your fitness routine. Yes, they might make your legs burn, but remember, no pain, no gain. And as we like to say, the burn you feel during squats is just your muscles saying hello. Squats might make your legs burn, but that means they're working. The last exercise for today is planks, a fantastic core strengthener. This exercise, though seemingly simple, is a powerhouse. It's all about control and endurance, which all starts with the core. Let's break down the steps to perform a perfect plank. Begin by getting into a push-up position. Your arms should be directly beneath your shoulders, creating a straight line down to your wrists. Extend your legs behind you, balancing on the balls of your feet. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. Now hold this position. The key here is to engage your core, keeping your body rigid like a plank of wood. Remember to breathe. If you're a beginner, don't worry. There's a modification just for you. Instead of supporting yourself on your hands, lower yourself onto your forearms. This reduces the strain on your shoulders and wrists, making the exercise more accessible. And if that's still a bit challenging, you can always drop your knees to the floor. The important thing is to keep your core engaged and your body as straight as possible. Now let's talk about why planks are so effective. They work a plethora of muscles including your abs, obliques, lower back, and even your shoulders and glutes. This makes planks a comprehensive exercise for your entire core. But the benefits don't stop at muscle toning. Planks also improve your posture and balance which can help prevent back pain and injuries. They can even enhance your athletic performance by increasing your core stability. Plus, unlike many exercises, planks don't require any special equipment. You can do them anywhere, anytime. In conclusion, planks might seem tough at first but they're a great way to build a strong, stable core. And remember, it's not about how long you can hold a plank, but about maintaining proper form and engaging your muscles. So give it a try, take it slow, and soon you'll see the benefits. Planks might be tough, but they are great for building a strong core. After any workout, it's essential to cool down. Wrapping up your exercise session with a cool-down routine is like putting the perfect bow on the gift of fitness you've just given your body. Cooling down helps to gradually lower your heart rate and brings your breathing back to its normal rhythm. It also aids in preventing muscle stiffness and soreness which we all want to avoid, right? Not only that, but it's a great opportunity to reflect on your workout and the progress you're making towards your fitness goals. Now let's guide you through a simple yet effective full-body cool-down routine. Start with a gentle walk. This helps to gradually slow down your body's momentum and allows your heart rate to lower naturally. Just imagine you're taking a leisurely stroll through a park, enjoying the peace and tranquility. 
Next, let's transition into some light stretching. Begin with your neck, gently rolling it from side to side, then move to your shoulders giving them a good slow roll. Take the time to stretch your arms, your torso, and your legs. Remember to breathe deeply and steadily throughout, allowing your body to relax and unwind. Lastly, let's end with some deep breathing exercises. Stand tall, close your eyes, and take a deep breath in. Hold it for a few seconds, then exhale slowly. Repeat this for a couple of minutes. Think of it as a mini meditation session. You're not only cooling down your body but also calming your mind, setting yourself up for a great rest of the day. So, there you have it. A simple yet effective cool-down routine that covers all the bases. It's an easy way to ensure you're taking care of your body post-workout, and trust me, your body will thank you for it. Remember, cooling down is just as important as the workout itself. So, never skip it. Your fitness journey is about more than just breaking a sweat, it's about taking care of your body in all aspects. Happy cooling down. Congratulations on completing the full body workout. You've taken a powerful step towards enhancing your fitness and overall well-being. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've accomplished today. We kicked things off with a necessary warm-up, preparing our bodies for the physical exertion to follow. Remember, warming up is not an optional extra but an essential part of your workout routine. It increases body temperature, enhances flexibility, and reduces the risk of injury. Next, we took a deep dive into four effective exercises that engage multiple muscle groups and elevate your heart rate. First up, we had jumping jacks, a fantastic aerobic exercise that not only boosts your cardiovascular health, but also improves your strength and endurance. It's a fun, full-body workout that engages your legs, core, and arms. Then we moved on to push-ups, a classic bodyweight exercise that primarily targets the chest, shoulders, and triceps. Regular push-ups can improve upper body strength and contribute to a stronger core. Our third exercise was squats, a powerful movement that primarily works your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. But it doesn't stop there. Squats also engage your core and lower back, making them an excellent full-body exercise. We wrapped up our exercise segment with planks, a phenomenal exercise for strengthening your core, but also works your glutes and hamstrings, supports proper posture, and improves balance. Finally, we cooled down. Much like our warm-up, the cool-down is an essential part of the routine, helping to gradually lower heart rate, cool body temperature, and facilitate muscle recovery. Consistency is the key to seeing results. Make this full-body workout a part of your regular routine. You might face some challenges along the way, but remember, every step you take is a step towards a healthier, fitter you. Keep up the good work and you'll be well on your way to achieving your fitness goals. Until next time, stay fit and stay healthy.